September 9th. Oh, that's interesting. But she is a lot smaller. I don't like that. I've got to cool it now, huh? Of course, I just okay. ate. There's no chance of you having uh, a baby while we're having this interview, is it? No chance. I hope bit. not. Let's hope not. Yeah, I, I've not. I've had just about everything happen to me in an interview except a lady <laughs> going into labor, and I'm not really. That was, I was a paramedic, and I'm not real good in that department. OB oh, was no. not my specialty. So, no. all right. Uh, you were very good in this movie. I really. I was. Do the Secret Service ladies come up to you and uh, kind of say you were doing a good job or try to give you tips? Well, you know, they weren't on the set very often, and the one day they did come down, they saw me in a dress that they did not approve of. It was this low-cut sort of slinky dress, and they thought, I know, they thought, oh, God, she's the sexy side dish to Clint Eastwood. We're so depressed. And I let them know, you know, I, I, I let them know that everything was going to be all right. And then they saw some of the rushes, and they were happier. Yeah, but they were very concerned. They were very concerned. Now, I've not had a lot of dealings with female Secret Service agents. I've been around a lot of the male guys, but are they, as, I guess they're just as serious and, you know. Well, you know, I didn't find that. And it's interesting because the, 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 the male Secret Service men that I was around, I didn't find that they were necessarily serious off duty. Mm -hmm. And the women, I found completely different types, all different kinds of women. There were some mothers and some very sort of career-oriented, what seemingly tougher mm -hmm. types, and some extremely, f extremely feminine women that you would have never dreamed in a million years. Yeah, President Bush had one on his detail last year on the, whatever you call the group that's really with him all right. the time. Right. And she looked like she was all business to me. You had the, oh, she had really? the Uzi stuck out of her back. Well, you know, was... I got to tell you once that they, they, they have, they dress the, the way that they do, and they've got their guns, and they, they're trained to just be extremely focused. I think that they probably do come off that way, but, but you know, in, in, in life, off-duty, they were different. It was interesting. Uh, Clint Eastwood's always been one of my heroes. I, I just, you know, I just think he's just great. Uh, maybe not, it might be just be a boy thing, but I mean, how was he to work with uh, as an actress and leading lady? He was wonderful. He was wonderful to work with. Um, I think because he's a director, he makes an effort without you necessarily knowing that he that he's doing it to to make you feel really comfortable, and joke and laugh and and uh, tell stories. And he seems to be a real charmer. He's extremely charming and a man of few, few words. A man of very few words. So that threw me off in the beginning. I was intimidated by that. I didn't know what to say. I didn't really know what to talk about. I mean, part of him is make my day. That's part of who he is. That's part of his just. It's part of who he is, and then he's sort of like a class clown, too, at the same time. Now, there are a lot of ladies, I'm sure a lot of ladies in the audience that are very envious of you. I mean, you've had to do a love scene, had to do had a to love do. scene with Clint Eastwood and tough. Mel Gibson. That's really tough work, tough. isn't it? It was tough. <laughs> it was with Clint, actually, because I was pregnant and I was sick as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so that wasn't easy, but, um, you know, I don't love, I, I'm not wild about love scenes. They're, 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 they're hard to do. They're uncomfortable, so, you know, sometimes. And so, um, you know, people ask They're me about They're uncomfortable because scenes. people are watching you? Is that why it's uncomfortable? Well, you've never kissed this person. My God. I mean, even kissing someone on a first date is, oh, I'm uncomfortable the first time. I don't know how. I mean, usually, sometimes, a little, a little. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable kissing you now, I guess, but I wouldn't be too comfortable with all these people watching me. That would be the... <laughs> That would be the part that would get no, me. No, you wouldn't. Exactly. It has to it's be true. very unnatural. It is. It is. And it then is. you have to look the most natural. Yeah, you know, and it's very technical. So you wouldn't mm -hmm. kiss a person like you would really kiss a person. So it's sort of, it's, it's technical and, it, and it's, uh, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Did uh, the Lethal Weapon movie just make everything in your career just go crazy? Because you came over so well in that? Well, uh, Or did you get a lot of parts a lot of offers for the same thing over and over again. Oh boy, um, you know, I just, I tell you what, I chose, there were some other scripts that that I would have been uh, more of a leading lady in, say, that would be, have been more my movie, but they weren't as good as the script, so I really chose the movie because I, I, I wanted to work with Clint and John Malkovich and because the script was a wonderful one. So that's the way that I chose it, as opposed to some other ones that might have been more about me, but they weren't as good. Strong leading ladies are apparently hard to find, and you've played two of the, two of the best. I mean, Linda Hamilton and you have played the real strong ladies in the last couple of years in movies. That's great. Yeah, it's been fun. I mean, it was unexpected. I wouldn't choose that role for myself. It was the last thing I would ever 
think to see myself in. So, but the films that I did before that, like three people saw. So people really think about me, uh, you know, Lorna Cole or Lily Raines type of a woman. Well, nice seeing you. Good luck with the baby. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Is that lethal weapon?